I'm Matt. I'm the founder and CEO of Rethink Food. Thanks for coming, and I'm excited to show you around. Right here, we have our dining room. Uh, we call it the family room. It's where we uh, invite guests in, talk to them about sustainability, host events, have staff meal, incredible food that we produce for our communities every single day. And uh, we all enjoy it as a team every day at noon, Monday through Friday. Uh, Rethink Food officially started uh, in fall of 2017. Uh, before that, I spent my entire life in restaurants. I was a cook at uh, Noma, La Madison Park. Uh, I worked in France, and I really fell in love with the restaurant industry, creativity, the family orientation, and all the great things that it did. When I was a kid, um, my aunt Peggy, uh, who recently actually passed, but she was an incredible fixture in our family. She at the coolest restaurant in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, uh, which wasn't too hard to do, but she really killed it and was a great culinary leader. Um, and she inspired me to kind of become a chef. As I kept going through my journey, I realized, you know, there has to be something more than Michelin stars and fine dining and lots of dots on a plate. And um, similar to Daniel Hume, who has deeply inspired me and pushed me to grow, I realized that, um, I need to do something meaningful for the community. And I thought a lot about what to do, and I realized I'm kind of only an expert in food. And I thought about the problem that seemed to need the, need the most immediate attention, which was there's so much excess food and there's so many people who need it. So uh, about a year before that, I left the Met Love Madison Park, a private chef, raised money, put in a bank account, and I worked really hard to just collect stuff we would make meals out of it, and then we'd distribute it to local community centers. Over time, um, I realized how effective this was, how cost-effective it was, how, how good it was for sustainability and the environment, um, and how helpful and delicious the food was for our neighbors. And I was really inspired to kind of keep growing it and growing it and growing it. And around 2018, we, we kind of launched our first community kitchen in Brooklyn, and things were going really well. I was working a full-time job kind of doing this in the morning, working as a chef at night. Rethink has two main programs. The first one is, you know, house here. There's tons of excess food everywhere. Go around, collect the excess food from various locations, bring it in here, uh, make meals um, in trays. Then we take those meals and trays and we drop them off at community centers across New York. Uh, we make close to uh, 15, 16,000 meals a week this that way here. Give them to the community centers to serve to their constituents. They can be older adult centers or um, after school programs or uh, homeless shelters or churches, uh, just to kind of help those community centers be able to serve their community better. The second thing we focus on is uh, a program we have is called Rethink Certified. Uh, we realized during COVID that small businesses play an integral part into the communities that we serve. So we'll work with soul food restaurants in Harlem, Chinese restaurants in Chinatown. We'll give them grants to make meals for their local community. They'll use their excess food in the process. Um, they give them about $5 a meal to make meals for their local community center to create jobs, uh, help business with revenue, um, and help business utilize their excess, and also connect the small business community with the nonprofit community, which is often very separate. We have operations in every single borough in New York City. Uh, we do a lot working with city council members, uh, chamber, chamber of commerces, bids, um, one in particular, the Harlem Chamber of Commerce we've been working with for just shy of five years now. They help us identify small businesses that are kind of philanthropically minded, community minded, that would be good uh, stewards of the grants that we give them. Uh, work with bids to help us kind of isolate the same thing, find small businesses that would be interested in, in participating and doing this work. We're not sure which restaurants the Croatian neighborhood in Queens likes. So these organizations and city council members do a lot to help us figure that out. A couple city council members in particular that do an incredible job of this. Um, Julie Menon, who used to chair the Small Business Committee, um, no longer does, but has been incredibly helpful with the small business development. Um, Julie Wan, council member Wan in Queens, is a champion of this work, always working hard for the small businesses and restaurants in our area. And Amanda Farias, council member Amanda Farias uh, from Bronx, has done so much to get these dollars into her community. Let me give you a tour of the facility. 
Here's the main cooking facility, the main production facility. This is where we do all of our sorting. Uh, these are our walk-in freezers. We hold a lot of food. This is our compost facility. This is where we compost everything. This is our refrigerated compost. Here we have the operations office. Kind of awesome. Storage. And then my office is here. This is Maggie. And this is my office. Thank you so much for coming to Rethink Food. And please go to rethinkfood.org to reach out or hit us up on Instagram. Thank you.